17. Selection and Evolution Natural selection is a mechanism of evolution and explains how species adapt to their environment over time through variations in traits. Examples include the peppered moth adapting to industrial pollution, yearly flu virus changes, and antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Continuous variation gives a normal distribution. This is because it is affected by the genotype and the environment. It is polygenic, i.e. controlled by several genes. Frame shift mutations can involve either deletion, where a single base is removed, or insertion, where a new base is inserted into the sequence. Whereas non-frame shift mutations involve either substitution or inversion. Chromosomal mutations are changes in chromosome structure during synapsis of prophase I and result in a change in the gene sequence. Translocation is where a section of one chromosome becomes attached to another and this can lead to Down syndrome. Genetic engineering, the gene is removed by restriction endonuclease which makes staggered cuts in the DNA at specific base pairings, leaving the DNA with the sticky ends. It is placed into a vector, usually a plasmid, with DNA ligase. Genetically engineered insulin is identical to human insulin and causes no side effects compared to pig's insulin. The disadvantages of genetic engineering include concerns over its safety because new pathogens could arise. There are also ethical issues involved, e.g. whether it is right for people to determine the characteristics of a child. Continuous variation range of phenotypes controlled by several genes, polygenic, and the environment discontinuous variation distinct types of phenotype in a population controlled by a single gene. 17.1 to 1 Phenotypic Variation Phenotypic variation may be continuous, as in the height or mass of an organism, or discontinuous, as in the human ABO blood groups. The genotype of an organism gives it the potential to show a particular characteristic. In many cases, the degree to which this characteristic is shown is also influenced by the organism's environment. Genetic variation within a population is the raw material on which natural selection can act. Variation is also caused by the interaction of the environment with genetic factors, but such environmentally induced variation is not passed on to an organism's offspring. All species of organisms have the reproductive potential to increase the sizes of their populations, but, in the long term, this rarely happens. This is because environmental factors come into play to limit population growth. Such factors decrease the rate of reproduction or increase the rate of mortality so that many individuals die before reaching reproductive age. Allele frequencies in a small population may change thanks to a random process called Genetic drift The number of alleles in an isolated population may be such smaller than in the parent population, as a result of the isolated population having begun with only a few individuals, this is known as the founder effect. The allele frequencies and the proportions of genotypes of a particular gene in a population can be calculated using the Hardy-Weinberg equations. Lecture notes for a level biology by Muhammad Rashid Chatha. 0300-461-0457 77 17.1 to 2 Continuous and Discontinuous Variation Continuous variation range of phenotypes controlled by several genes, polygenic, and the environment discontinuous variation, distinct types of phenotype in a population controlled by a single gene. Discontinuous variation is controlled by a single gene. Whereas continuous variation, e.g. height, is controlled by several genes and the environment. Variations in a population are produced by mutation, point or chromosomal, independent assortment of chromosomes in metaphase 1 of meiosis crossing over chiasmata formation during prophase 1 of meiosis random fertilization of gametes. Morphological and functional changes during evolution are produced by mutations, changes in DNA, occurring during DNA replication. Point mutations are changes in the sequence of bases in a gene. There are two main types, frame shift and non-frame shift. In frame shift mutations, the whole sequence, reading frame, is altered, i.e. every single codon, three bases coding for an amino acid, after the mutation is changed, forming a nonsense polypeptide. 
This can be lethal for a cell, if the mutation occurs prior to mitosis, or fatal to the resultant organism if prior to meiotic division. There are two types, deletion, where a single base is removed insertion, where a new base is inserted into the sequence. In non-frame shift mutation, the whole reading frame is not altered i.e. apart from the mutated codon, all other codons remain intact so only one amino acid is different in the resultant polypeptide. This affects the structure and functioning of the protein only if the amino acid is either involved in the folding of the protein or is located within an enzyme's active site. There are two types, substitution, where a wrong base is substituted for the correct base. Inversion, where two bases in the chain swap places. Chromosomal mutations involve changes in the chromosome structure during synapsis. Of prophase I, when chromatids break and rejoin. This changes the gene sequence. Changes can be, deletion, sections of DNA are lost, often fatal, inversion, sections within the chromosome are reshuffled duplication, a section of DNA is double translocation, a section of one chromosome becomes attached to another, this can lead to Down syndrome. The total of all the genes in a population is known as the gene pool specification is the development of two or more species from one original species gene pool. Lecture notes for a level biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha. 0300461457. Seventy-eight, seventeen point one to three genetic basis of continuous and discontinuous variations. Different alleles at a single locus have a small effect on the phenotype. Different genes can have the same effect on the phenotype and these add together to have an additive effect. If a large number of genes have a combined effect on the phenotype they are known as polygenes. At the genetic level, different genes have different effects on the phenotype. Different alleles at a single gene locus have a large effect on the phenotype. Remember diploid organisms will inherit two alleles of each gene, these alleles can be the same or different. 17.1 to 4 use if t-test. A t-test is a statistical test that compares the means of two samples. It is used in hypothesis testing, with a null hypothesis that the difference in group means is zero and an alternate hypothesis that the difference in group means is different from zero. The t-test is used to determine whether or not two sets of quantitative data, each with an approximately normal distribution, are significantly different from one another. The CHI-2 test is used to determine whether or not observed results differ significantly from expected results. The Pearson's linear correlation test is used to determine whether or not there is a linear correlation between two sets of quantitative data. 17.2 Natural and Artificial Selection Natural selection is any selection process that occurs as a result of an organism's ability to adapt to its surroundings. Artificial selection, on the other hand, is selective breeding that is imposed by an external entity, usually humans, in order to enhance the frequency of desirable features. One of the main mechanisms of evolutionary change is natural selection. If offspring receive advantageous characteristics, their chances of survival to reproduce and pass on the characteristics alleles are increased. Artificial selection involves the choice by humans of which organisms to allow to breed together, in order to bring about a desirable change in characteristics. Thus, artificial selection, like natural selection, can affect allele frequencies in population. Within a population, the frequency of the different alleles of a gene will stay the same from generation to generation provided the population is large, and there is no mutation. Migration or natural selection Natural selection occurs on populations when different genotypes have different fertilities. Fit organisms have more offspring than less fit organisms, so that succeeding generations inherit the advantageous alleles of the genes that made them successful. As a result, the frequency of the alleles of these genes changes. Within a population, certain alleles may increase the chance that an individual will survive long enough to be able to reproduce successfully. These alleles are, therefore, more likely. Lecture notes for a level biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha. 0300461457. 79. To be passed on to the next generation than others. This is known as natural selection. 
Normally, natural selection keeps allele frequencies as they are. This is stabilizing selection. 17.2 to 1 occurrence of natural selection. Variation exists within all populations of organisms. This occurs partly because random mutations arise in the genome of an individual organism, and their offspring can inherit such mutations. Throughout the lives of the individuals, their genomes interact with their environments to cause variations in traits. The environment of a genome includes the molecular biology in the cell, other cells, other individuals, populations, species, as well as the abiotic environment. Because individuals with certain variants of the trait tend to survive and reproduce more than individuals with other less successful variants, the population evolves. Other factors affecting reproductive success include sexual selection, now often included in natural selection, and fecundity selection. 17.2 to 2 environmental factors as stabilizing, disruptive and directional forces. Environmental factors that exert selection pressures change, or if new alleles appear in a population, then natural selection may cause a change in the frequencies of alleles. This is directional selection. Over many generations, directional selection may produce large changes in allele frequencies. This is how evolution occurs. 17.2 to 3 bottleneck effect. The bottleneck effect refers to the way in which a reduction and subsequent increase in a population's size affects the distribution of genetic variation among its individuals. 17.2 to 4 bacteria becoming resistant to antibiotics. Marker genes are used to identify transformed bacteria and these are antibiotic resistance genes, e.g. ampicillin and tetracycline resistance. The relationship between areas where malaria is common and the frequency of sickle cell anemia in humans, the evolution of pesticide resistance in rats and the evolution of resistance to antibiotics in bacteria are examples of natural selection in action. Transformed bacteria can be identified using marker genes. For example antibiotic resistant genes can be used, i.e. ampicillin and tetracycline resistance. Within the tetracycline gene is an ec one recognition site. If the cDNA has been inserted, this gene is inactivated and the bacteria will only show resistance to the antibiotic, ampicillin. This is easily detected by growing the bacteria on nutrient agar plates, one containing ampicillin and the other containing tetracycline. The transformed bacteria are grown and rapid. Replication of the plasmids occurs. The protein is synthesized and is extracted from the medium. 17.2 to 5. The frequency of alleles in a population, and the genotypes and phenotypes resulting from them, can be calculated using the Hardy Weinberg equation. This is given as P2 plus 2 PQ plus Q2 equals 1, where P is the frequency of the dominant allele of a gene and Q is the frequency of the recessive allele of the same gene. Lecture notes for a level biology by Muhammad Rashid Chatha. 0300461457. 80. 17.2 to 6 principles of selective breeding. The principle of selective breeding is simple, it relies on the selection of individual animals which show the most desirable characteristics as the parents for the next generation in the breeding program, and repeating this process over many generations. 17.2 to 7 examples of selective breeding. Many fruits and vegetables have been improved or even created through artificial selection. For example, broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage were all derived from the wild mustard plant through selective breeding. Wheat, rice, maize, dairy cattle etc. are example of selective breeding. Even relatively primitive peoples understood that selective breeding had positive outcomes. Larger grain seeds flower, selective breeding of goats and eventually cattle to increase milk production and meat content. The breeding strategy consists of developing advanced backcross populations involving selected popular high-yielding varieties, 40-50, chosen from major rice-growing countries as recurrent parents and around 500 varieties with traits of unique adaptive value as donors. The farmers saved kernels from plants with desirable characteristics and planted them for the next season's harvest.
This process is known as selective breeding or artificial selection. Maize cobs became larger over time, with more rows of kernels, eventually taking on the form of modern maize. Lecture Notes for a Level Biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha 03046104578181 81. Farmers selectively breed different types of cows with highly desirable characteristics in order to produce the best meat and dairy. This means the farmers can make the most profit. Characteristics can be chosen for usefulness or appearance. Desired characteristics in plants, disease resistance in food crops. 17.3 Evolution Evolution is the change in heritable characteristics of biological populations over successive generations. These characteristics are the expressions of genes, which are passed on from parent to offspring during reproduction. 17.3 to 1 Theory of Evolution New species arise by a process called speciation. In allopatric speciation, two populations become isolated from one another, perhaps by some geographical feature, and then evolve along different lines until they become so different that they can no longer interbreed. In sympatric speciation, new species may arise through ecological or behavioral separation. In both allopatric speciation, the two groups change over time, so that the two groups become genetically isolated from one another, with no gene flow between them. Charles Darwin proposed the theory of natural selection as a mechanism for evolutionary change. The modern form, neo-Darwinian theory, can be summarized as follows, ability to survive depends on the specific characteristics of an organism, e.g. strength and speed. All characteristics vary within a species. Some variations are advantageous, e.g. faster running to escape predators, and some disadvantageous, e.g. strength and speed. Populations produce more offspring than can survive. If offspring receive advantageous characteristics from their parents, their chances of survival to reproduce and pass on the characteristics are increased. In this way, the frequency of an advantageous allele within a population will increase. This leads to a change in the characteristics of a species over time. 17.3 to 2 Role of DNA Sequence Data in Evolution Most mutations are harmful, some have no effect, but a few can be beneficial. Beneficial mutations might give the organism an advantage and in this way mutations give rise to variation and hence drive evolution. Humans, like most other organisms, deployed, each cell carries two versions, or alleles, of each gene. If both are the same, the organism is homozygous for that allele. If the pair are different, the organism is heterozygous. During meiosis, only one of the alleles passes into the gamete. This is Mendel's first law. Monohybrid inheritance is the study of one gene. A cross of AAXAA gives all AA in the first generation, F1. A cross of AAXAA gives a 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio in the second generation, F2. Lecture Notes for a Level Biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha 03046104578282. 82 Dihybrid inheritance involves two separate genes, usually on separate chromosomes. Homogeneous individuals AABBX are produce offspring that are all AABB in the F1 generation. However, owing to independent assortment during meiosis, AABB individuals produce gametes of AB, AB, and AB. If bred together, AABB individuals produce 16 different genotypes and 4 different phenotypes with a ratio of 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. Genes present on the same chromosome are said to be linked. Such genes are inherited together unless separated by crossover in prophase 1 of meiosis. The greater the distance between the genes on the chromosome, the more often they are inherited. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. The X chromosome is larger than the Y and carries more genes. The sex of a baby is determined at the moment of conception. Because gametes are Produced by meiosis, half of the sperm carry a Y chromosome and half carry an X. If a Y Sperm fertilizes the egg, a male results, X gives a female. 
Genes carried on the sex chromosomes are said to be sex-linked genes, but males have only one copy of allele that is the few genes are carried on the Y chromosome. Some diseases such as hemophilia are sex-linked, caused by defective genes on the X chromosomes. Females have two alleles and so can be carriers. Males have only one allele and so cannot be carriers, they are either healthy or they have the disease. Some genes have more than two alleles. The human's ABO blood group is an example of such a multiple allele. In this case, one gene has three alleles, A, B and O. Many characteristics are controlled by many different genes. We describe such characteristics as polygenic, they often produce a range of values. Human height is a good example of a polygenic characteristic. The presence of one allele can affect the expression of an allele of a different gene. This type of gene interaction is called epistasis. For example, one allele may give an organism the ability to make pigment, while another allele determines the colors and or the distribution of that pigment. Homologous chromosomes are pairs of chromosomes in a diploid cell that have the same structure and the same genes at the same locky, but not necessarily the same varieties of those genes. 17.3 to 3 speciation by genetic isolation. Allopatric speciation may occur through spatial separation of populations, commonly through geographical isolation, where populations become separated due to geographical features. This prevents exchange of genes between demis. Sympatric speciation occurs without geographical isolation. It occurs through two main mechanisms, polyploidy where individuals contain additional sets of chromosomes, and ecological isolation. Populations of a species can become spatially isolated due to preferences for separate habitats. The separation decreases the chance of mating to occur between the two populations, inhibiting gene flow and promoting prezygotic isolation to lead to complete speciation. Behavioral isolation occurs when mismatches in mating traits, signals and or preferences prevent mating between two species populations. Prokaryote are organisms lacking nuclei and other membrane-bound organelles. This Kingdom differs from Protarctista e.g. amoeba which have envelope-bound nuclei and are often unicellular or assembled from similar cells. Lecture notes for a level biology by Muhammad Rashid Chatha. 03046104578383 The gene pool is the total of all the genes in a population. For example, if there are two alleles for wing length, long and vestigial, in a population of 1,000 fruit flies, the size of the gene pool for this characteristic is 2,000, 2 by 1,000. Population genetic studies changes in the gene pool of a population, which may result in evolution. Evolution can be defined in two ways, changes in the characteristics of a population over many generations, allowing adaptation to their environment development of two or more species from one original species, known as speciation. There are two types of variation in characteristics, discontinuous, distinct types of phenotype in a population, controlled by a single gene, e.g. eye color. Continuous range of phenotypes, controlled by several genes and the environment, e.g. height. This can be acted upon by natural selection in three ways. Stabilizing selection, selection against extremes, e.g. the optimum weight for human. Babies is 3.6 kilograms. Babies born above or below this weight have increased mortality rate. Directional selection changes in phenotype in a particular direction, e.g. the fastest cheetah will catch the most prey, so increased speed will be selected for in the cheetah population. Disruptive selection selection against intermediate phenotypes, favoring extremes. When populations become geographically isolated, e.g. by rivers or mountains, these demis, isolated populations, are exposed to different environmental conditions, e.g. food availability or climate. This results in natural selection favoring different phenotypes in the different areas, causing the demis to become increasingly genetically different. Eventually, the demis become so genetically diverse that they are reproductively isolated, unable to interbreed to produce fertile offspring. This is known as allopatric speciation. Sympatric speciation occurs without geographical isolation. 
Demis found in the same area. Can separate into reproductively isolated groups through two main mechanisms, polyploidy, a process producing individuals containing additional sets of chromosomes, as shown with modern wheat overleaf. This can occur when related species interbreed, or homologous pairs of chromosomes fail to separate in meiosis, giving diploid gametes. Einkorn wheat, AA, 2N equals 14. Wild grass, BB, 2N equals 14. Infertile hybrid A, AB, 14 chromosomes infertile because no homologous pairs of chromosomes, so no meiosis to make gametes. Emma wheat, AABB, 2N equals 28 chromosome number doubles due to DNA replication not followed by cell division. Lecture notes for a level biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha. 0300461457. Emma wheat, AABB, 2N equals 28. Goat grass, CC. 2N equals 14. Infertile hybrid B, ABC, 21 chromosomes infertile because uneven number and no homologous pairs of chromosomes. Triticum estivum, AABB CC, 2N equals 42 chromosome number doubles allowing hybrid to become fertile. Ecological isolation, if a favorable new adaption arises in a species, individuals possessing it are likely to become reproductively isolated from the rest of the population. For example, they may become separated by their feeding behavior, although inhabiting the same area. Keywords Allopatric speciation, antibiotic-resistant bacteria, artificial selection, climate change, competition, continuous variation, Directional selection, discontinuous variation, disruptive selection, evolution, extinction, founder effect, gene pool, genetic bottleneck, genetic drift, Hardy Weinberg principle, hybridization, inbreeding, natural selection, postzygotic isolating mechanisms, prezygotic isolating mechanisms, quantitative variation, selection pressures, selective breeding, speciation, stabilizing selection, sympatric speciation, T-test, variation. Chapter Glossary Allopatric speciation is a form of speciation that occurs when two populations become geographically isolated due to a physical barrier. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria are bacteria that mutate to become resistant to an antibiotic, survive and reproduce very rapidly, passing on their antibiotic resistance. Artificial selection is the selective breeding by man. Climate change is the gradual change in regional and global climate patterns attributed to increasing atmospheric levels of greenhouse gases, e.g. carbon dioxide, methane gas. Competition when different organisms compete for the same resources, e.g. light, water, mates, territory, in an ecosystem. This limits population sizes. Continuous variation is a type of variation that cannot be categorized e.g. skin color, height, it produces a continuous range in which a characteristic can take any value. Multiple genes influence continuous variation. Directional selection is a type of selection that favors one extreme phenotype and selects against all other phenotypes. Lecture notes for a level biology by Mohammed Rashid Chatha. 0300461457. 85. Discontinuous variation is a type of variation that can be categorized e.g. blood group. A characteristic can only appear in discrete values. One or two genes influence discontinuous variation. Disruptive selection is a type of selection that favors individuals with extreme phenotypes and selects against those with phenotypes close to the mean. Evolution is the gradual change in the allele frequencies within a population over time. It occurs due to natural selection. Extinction is the population of a species may decrease until it no longer exists due to habitat loss, hunting by humans, competition with other species or climate change. Founder effect is a type of genetic drift in which a few individuals of a species break off from the population and form a new colony. This results in smaller gene pools and an increased frequency of rare alleles. 
Gene pool are all of the different versions of genes, alleles, in the individuals that make up a population. Genetic bottleneck is a drastic reduction in population size leading to reduced genetic diversity within a population. Genetic drift is random variations in allele frequencies in small populations, due to mutations. Hardy-Weinberg principle is a model that predicts that the ratio of dominant and recessive alleles in a population will remain constant between generations if the following five conditions are met, no new mutations, no natural selection, no migration, large population, and random mating. It provides a formula for calculating the frequencies of alleles, P2 plus 2 PQ plus Q2 equals 1.0 where P is the frequency of the dominant allele, and Q is the frequency of the recessive allele. Hybridization complementary bases on single-stranded DNA from separate samples can form hydrogen bonds. Inbreeding is the formation of offspring from the breeding of closely related individuals. Natural selection is the process by which the frequency of beneficial alleles gradually increases in a population's gene pool over time. This theory was developed by Charles Darwin. Postzygotic isolating mechanisms are such mechanisms in which members of two different species may be able to mate and produce offspring, the offspring are not viable and cannot reproduce. Prezygotic isolating mechanisms is any form of reproductive isolation which prevents two species from mating to produce offspring e.g. incompatible sex organs, different mating rituals. Quantitative variation is the existence of a range of phenotypes for a specific character, differing by degree rather than by distinct qualitative differences. It is like continuous variation e.g. skin, color, height, and weight. Selection pressures factors that affect an organism's ability to survive in an environment e.g. disease, prey, competitors, water availability. Selective breeding is the process by which humans artificially select organisms with desirable characteristics and breed them to produce offspring with desirable phenotypes. Selective breeding may also be referred to as artificial selection. Speciation is the formation of new species due to the evolution of two reproductively separated populations. Two forms, allopatric and sympatric speciation. Lecture notes for a level biology by Muhammad Rashid Chatha. 0 86. Stabilizing selection is a type of selection that favors individuals with phenotypes close to the mean, average, and selects against extreme phenotypes. Sympatric speciation is a form of speciation that occurs when two populations within the same area become reproductively isolated. T-test is a statistical test used to determine whether there is a statistically significant difference between the means of two data sets that show normal distribution. A paired T-test compares means from two different samples. An unpaired T-test compares means from the same sample. Variation the differences between individuals due to genes, the environment or a combination of both. Lecture notes for a level biology by Muhammad Rashid Chatha. 03046104578787 87 18 classification biodiversity and conservation classification is the grouping of organisms on the basis of their